Hey everyone, thank you so much for being here. My name is Britt and it is already time for my fourth video in my trying to read my entire TBR series. So in my last video, you could see that I ended my TBR with 96 books. Right now, I'm still reading a book that I was reading in my last video, namely Luster by Raven Leilani. I'm currently around 60% of the way through. I'm listening to this on audiobook and I'm really enjoying it. This is about a girl named Edie and she is in a relationship with Eric and Eric is much older than she is. Eric is in an open relationship and she also gets to meet his wife Rebecca and they kind of form this interesting friendship with the three of them and Edie is actually invited to their home to paint a lot of canvases and to paint basically her life on canvas. It's an interesting book. The main character in this book is definitely a little bit self-sabotaging and self-destructive. Definitely things are happening. I'm enjoying it a lot. It's a really, really great audiobook. And then the other book that I was still reading from last week is Jane Goodall's The Book of Hope, which is a non-fiction all about Jane Goodall's ideas on how to remain hopeful in a world that is not doing too well. However, I'm not really into this one right now. I don't really feel like reading non-fiction. What I do feel like reading is something completely different and something that I haven't read in such a long time, namely a young adult fantasy. I'm going to pick up The Cruel Prince by Holly Black. It has been so long since I last read A Young Adult Fantasy. So I'm very excited to start reading this one as my physical read. So this is about Jude and her sisters and it says on one day their parents are murdered in front of them. The assassin abducts all three girls and brings them to the world of fairy. However, Jude and her sisters are mortal but in order to survive she has to kind of be as cunning and deceitful as the fae themselves. But then there is also the arrogant but charismatic Prince Carden. I'm excited for this. It is um, a series and I normally don't really like reading series too much because I'm just not very good at reading series. I tend to just read the first one and then sometimes just forget about it. So we'll see how this is going to go. But I'm excited to read a young adult fantasy again because it has honestly been over a year, I think. Okay, <laughs> these are my two books that I'm currently reading. I really hope you're going to enjoy this vlog again. Today is Monday morning. As you saw, I just cleaned up the house a little bit whilst listening to the audiobook. So this morning I already listened to a little bit. And right now I am just going to grab my stuff and go to the Swan Market store in Rotterdam where I'll be working this afternoon. The Swan Market store is like a concept store where I sell my bookish products. And um, I have to work there twice a month because I'm selling my products there. So today is one of these days. So let's grab my stuff and let's go over to the stall. It has actually been one entire week since I last filmed, like talking in a video, <laughs> in this video. I can't even speak anymore. I honestly just didn't really film anything this week. I did manage to finish Luster, which I enjoyed, but I wasn't too impressed. So I decided to give it three out of five stars, which means that at the moment, let me check. Yes, 95 books. Um, I enjoy Yeah, as I said, I enjoyed Luster, but I just wasn't too impressed with the entire plot in the end. It was definitely interesting reading about the kind of the struggles that these characters went through and had to deal with. 
but yeah i'm glad i listened to it on audio because i don't know if i would have finished it on like reading it physically then of course as i said last week i am going to read the cruel prince and with going to read i definitely mean i'm going to read it because during this entire week i have read six pages <laughs> The reason is, is that I was suddenly so into designing new products for my shop. I have been drawing so much this past week, which means that I just didn't really read much. I was constantly drawing, didn't really feel much because of that too. I was just constantly drawing. I am so excited about these new products that are coming. One bookmark has already rolled, like two bookmarks actually. Shall I just give you a little preview? Two of them have already arrived. First of all, it's the summer bookmark in my kind of doodle series. So this is what it looks like. Will it focus? Oh, there it is. This is the summer bookmark, which means that I have now finished a complete set of four of these like seasonal doodle bookmarks, which is really fun and exciting. So I will also be selling this one as a set. And then I also designed a new kind of tracking bookmark, a bookmark that you can actually write on. I already have this one which is a library card bookmark where you can write down all the books that you read um, in a year. But now I've got kind of a challenge one, an A to Z books bookmark. So for one year, you can try to read all the books with book titles that start a specific letter of the alphabet. And then you can write down that specific book. So this is the second bookmark. Let me think there are two bookmarks still coming. Yes, two bookmarks are still coming, which I think are going to be my favorites <laughs> for this next shop update. So I've just been drawing lots this week. I haven't picked out a new audiobook, but I think for now I'm just going to leave it at this physical book and see how far I can get into it this week or today. Because today I'm going to Delft, the store, the Swan Market store in Delft where I sell my products. So going there and being there, if it's a little bit quiet, I will definitely be able to read a little bit. I think I'm going to be reading this one on my Kindle because it just helps me read a lot quicker and as oops, and especially when I'm, you know, like in the store um, or on the public transport. So I think I'm gonna read this on my Kindle. Right now, it's Monday morning, 9.30. I am going to start editing this vlog because I haven't edited a single bit of this vlog yet because I was just so busy drawing a lot. Okay, let's edit and let's go to the store after that. It's Wednesday today. I have an update on The Cruel Prince because I'm about 30% of the way through this book and I'm enjoying it a lot. It feels so just fun to kind of get back into YA fantasy because I just haven't read it in so long and I used to read so much YA fantasy when I was younger. So this is very fun. I'm enjoying it a lot. I am interested in reading the rest of the series. However, I will not be getting them anytime soon because I really do want to focus on reading my TBR first. But today is Wednesday, late today. I'm hosting some reading sprints over on my Patreon page and I'm also trying to post more on TikTok and Instagram Reels. So if you aren't following me on TikTok or Instagram, um, I will link everything down below in the description. And today for lunch, my friend Sabine from Sabine's Book Nook is coming over here to Rotterdam to have some lunch and to just catch up and talk about life and talk about books and I haven't seen her in a very long time so I'm super excited for that as well. It's just going to be a cozy work day. I just filmed the three TikToks which I'm very happy about because always I feel like the starting of actually creating a video or like starting a video is the most difficult part but then once you're doing it, <laughs> once you're filming it, everything goes by much quicker. Um, so I'm glad that I kind of actually started creating the content and you know edited it already so I've got three videos ready to go. I haven't started a new audiobook yet, I don't think I will for this video but I hope to read a little bit more from The Cruel Prince later today and especially during my reading sprints on Patreon and then I hope to edit this vlog as well so I'll keep you updated, I'm gonna do some work, read some more and I'll see you soon when Sabina's here. 
Okay, I told you about how I was designing lots of bookmarks this week. I just got one in the mail and I'm so happy. I'm just gonna give you a sneak preview again. Sneak preview, basically the entire bookmark. Look! Oh, I'm so happy with how they turned out. It's a woodland magic bookmark. And I'm going to attach some black tassels to it now. Okay, got back from lunch with Sabine. It was so lovely catching up. We had lunch at Bayarmouche. Bayarmouche? It's like an all-day breakfast, diner-ish vibe restaurant. Sabine and I went to New York last April. So of course we ate in lots of these very American restaurants and like diners. And we came in, we walked in and we both just looked at each other saying like, oh my God, it feels like we're back in New York. And everyone who worked there spoke English as well. All the menu was English. Everything looked... American <laughs> and you had like a, a white cup on your table where they could refill the coffee if you wanted to just some black coffee and it really felt like we were back in New York so that was really fun and it was delicious I had a veggie sandwich and Sabine had some pancakes and I ate my entire sandwich and I also ate some more of Sabine's pancakes it was really really good so I am definitely going back there I am however going to end this vlog here I'm sorry it's not really the longest vlog ever I thought it was going to be much longer but you have to film a lot to get a long vlog. I ended this vlog with 95 books. So I only finished one book this week, but that's okay. I'm still on my way to zero. No, hopefully 50, like ASAP. But yeah, I'm still loving doing kind of this reading challenge with myself, trying to read as many of my physical unread books on my shelf. And I really hope you're enjoying it too. If you did, please do give it a thumbs up. And if you want to comment something, but you don't know what to comment, comment a stack of pancakes emoji because I just had some pancakes. Okay, thank you again so much for watching. I really hope you're having a beautiful day and I will see you in the next video.